Hi friends! Today we're going to be doing a try a chapter challenge of sorts. If you were here last year then you will already know that at the beginning of last year I started doing a book haul rewind which is where I went through all of the books that I had bought in 2017-2018 of the month that we were in and talked about which books I had read, which books I had not yet read, um, trying to help hold myself accountable for the massive physical TBR that I have. This year my massive TBR started at 197. It was under 200 which is better than the year before but still massive. Towards the end of the year once all of the life complications came in I kind of fell off the wagon of doing that. While I do feel like that was a video that people enjoyed I don't think it's something that I would continue to do because at this point it's like the same books again from 17, 18 and then I would be adding in the ones from 19. It's not something I feel like I sh can do. Well hello Merlin. Again. So I'm going to do something a little different. It's going to be almost like the book haul rewind and a TBR jar and a try a chapter tag kind of all meshed together. For most months I have looked and I have several books from 17, 18, 19 that I have not yet read that are either standalones or the first book in a series because I feel like that's going to be the key here. But for January I only had three books that I have not read that were from my 17, 18, 19 hauls that were either the first book in a series or were a standalone. So for this month I'm just going to give you three books. That's all you get. But in later months, when I get to the months where I have, you know, 20 books that I haven't read yet and that fit those criteria, then I will be pulling those from a cup. So we have like that TBR jar effect. But for this month, we don't have that because I don't have enough books. And I have plenty of books, but I don't have enough books that fit the criteria. Okay, essentially what we'll be doing, because this is January, I'll be taking any unread books that I hauled in January of 2017, 2018, or 2019 and choosing from those three books with which to do a try a chapter challenge. Which basically just means I'm going to be reading a chapter of each of these and then once I have read the chapter of them I'm going to pick one of the three to read the whole book this month. I may do more than one, I don't know, but like the basically if I don't read this book by the end of the month whatever book I pick I have to unhaul it. Just DNF it, get it out of my life. There will be exceptions to that rule because sometimes life kicks you in the face but we're gonna start out the year with that plan. If I choose a book and I don't read it by the end of the month it's out. My three books that I got to choose from this month are written and read by Ann Bishop. I believe this series is called The Others? Yes. This is a series that I found out from Bethany at Beautifully Bookish Bethany and I'm not a hundred percent sure what it is but it's like a sci-fi fantasy type novel where it follows a girl who is a human but is what they call a blood prophet so she has the ability to see the future whenever her skin is cut and because she has that ability she's kind of kept captive and I'm not 100% sure what's going on in this world but they what they call the others I don't know if they're like aliens or what we would consider like shapeshifters or werewolves I don't know what they are but they're others and she runs to the others to kind of hide away from the humans that are trying to use her and abuse her. There is an other that takes her in and hires her for a job and I'm sure there's probably a romance between the two of them because it's why not? And so uh, yeah it seems very interesting and very different from anything that I've ever read. Uh, so I'm interested to see where this goes. I mean it kind of reminds me of Little Red Riding Hood. It's written in red. There's a wolf on the cover. I don't know. It's a thing. We're gonna try it. The next book that we're gonna be trying is Reign of the Fallen and this is by Sarah Glenn Marsh. This is the first book in this series. I again don't know a whole lot about this series or about this book but I know it follows a girl who's a necromancer and in her world she can revive the dead because that's what necromancers do. When you revive the dead you have to basically keep their entire body shrouded and if they 
see any kind of light they turn into like these creatures that kind of wreak havoc and kill everything and they become evil zombies basically. I think that someone is purposefully raising them to attack and kill people and she has to figure out how and why and who and try to stop it. And the third book is Renegades by Marissa Meyer. This is the first book in this series. This one I know slightly more about than the others. I know that it follows a group of heroes and a group of villains in like a sci-fi world and I know that some part of it has to do with are the heroes really the heroes? Are the villains really the villains? And I believe someone from one tri one group infiltrates the other group. I don't I don't know. I never know. Have I ever given you a good synopsis of a book I haven't read? No. All right, so I'm gonna go read the first chapter of all three of these and then let you know which one I'm going to pick for the month. Let's do this. I just finished the first chapter of Written in Red and um Okay, so the others are, there's like a little, like a brief history of the world that's like two pages uh, right before the actual first chapter. And so it talks about how Mother Nature, whatever, gave birth to the humans and she put them in like their own little world because she wanted to protect them from all of the other things that she had created, the others. And it follows like the history of those things and how humans, you know, overpopulated and they try to it, it almost is kind of like settlers coming to America and trying to take over the indigenous people the indigenous people are like shapeshifters werewolves elementals other different types of creatures that eat humans and speaking of eating humans uh the end of chapter one page 24 ends with them eating a human alive so I don't know <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this like I'm enjoying it, but also, damn. Okay, so I'm gonna put this one down and pick up Reign of the Fallen and read the first chapter of that. Okay, so this one was only 15 pages, but also ended in a really gruesome death. Was I going with a theme that I didn't know about? I don't know. This is really weird. It's like the main character is, as I said, a necromancer. The kingdom that she lives in they have like an old king that's several hundred years old and he's still their king even though he's dead and like twice a year they bring him back to life so that he can rule and then put him back to sleep. Like half of the fam the royal family is all dead people walking around in like their shrouds. In order for them to be risen they have to have a living family member go into the afterlife with the necromancers to bring them back and that person who's going in loses their fertility which can be either their ability to procreate or their ability to grow things or all of the crops will die or um, uh, to me the fact that the possibility of all of the crops in your country dying is probably not worth bringing back a dead king. I don't, I don't know um, he's very old, very set in his ways. He doesn't allow imports, exports. He doesn't allow people to move away or people to move to the kingdom. They have very strict rules. They're not allowed to progress. They're not allowed to be an inventor. No one's allowed to create new things, including recipes. Like you just have to stick to the way things have always been. I, I don't know. I, mm, I don't, I don't know. I don't feel about that. Last book. Moving on. And so this one didn't end in a gruesome death, but it had three of them in it. This one was like a history and a prologue and then a chapter one. It was about 27 pages. Um, of the three, which do I want to read the most right now? I'm not sure about Reign of the Fallen because it was just kind of weird and written in red. It was a little dark-ish. So I think I'm gonna go with Renegades. This is gonna be my choice. This will be my choice for my try chapter. So I will be reading this book by the end of the month. If I do not finish it then I will be unhauling it. So yeah this big chunker will be the book that I need to read by the end of the month and then you'll get to see how I feel about it in my wrap-up video because I have to finish it. 
no options but finishing the book. Let me know in the comments below how you feel about this new setup that I have going for the monthly try chapter. I think it's going to be interesting and fun, especially more interesting once we get to months where I have a lot more books with which to choose from. So I'll be using like a vessel of some sort with which to draw the three books versus I only have three books that count. I think that'll definitely make it more interesting as well. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, and bonus videos on the weekends. So if you don't want to miss anything I have going on in the future, make sure you subscribe. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!